that's an unfortunate scenario wherein we don't follow up a story. Midday meal has happened today. It's Sunday prime time news. Suddenly we've discovered that there are poor in India's Bihar. Tomorrow, day after, over. Move on to the next story. Something else will happen. That's natural. I can accept it at one level. But what I cannot accept is that when we deliberately tend to manufacture news, we, we bring in trivia, we in some way then destroy the soul of the profession. And in some way we are creating a new generation of Indians, I fear, who are becoming overtly cynical about everything. That everything is terrible in this country. Everything is negative. There's nothing positive taking place in India today. Let's be honest, condition of roads today, I know Mumbai is a bad example because your potholes you all can't do anything about. But the fact is across large parts of India, highways today are much better. They are connecting large parts of India. Yes, we love it if this government woke up to the idea and connected it faster. An economist made a good point to me, someone who works in the government. He said the problem with India is that when India grew at 8% between 2005 and 8, we thought we had reached the end of the journey. Rather than seeing it as merely a milestone in a long journey that we have to take. And therefore, we didn't know how to handle 8% growth. That's the problem. We didn't know that once you build one highway, you're going to have to build 50 more. We thought, yeah, ek highway kar diya. we've connected Noida to uh, Delhi to Agra in two and a half hours, UP government was celebrating. Not realizing that from Agra, you're going to have to connect another road to Lucknow. Then from Lucknow to Banaras. Then Banaras to Patna. Then Patna to Guwahati. That's the way you'll build a country. That's the way the Americans built their great country. In India, we get very, very satisfied very easily. Yaar, ek kar diya, maza a gaya. Ek channel bana diya, we are, we are very happy. How do you grow? How do you, how do you sustain 8% growth? How do you sustain a media revolution? In my view, the future of the media in particular is increasingly going to be not just with those who do English news and do Hindi news. You're going to have to go regional. You're going to have go, go, go local. Why can't, I mean, I believe 10 years from now, you will, have a you will have channels in Mumbai that cater to your local neighborhood and not all on television. They may do it through mobile, they'll do it through internet. You're moving into a multimedia, increasingly localized environment. Are we ready for it? Are we ready to make those investments? Or are we simply happy? Yeah, 524 by 7 news channels. Ho gai. We are happy. Who are the people running these channels? Increasingly, the guys who are coming to run it 24 by 7 channels are not interested in the media. I was in Bihar the other day and I asked, yeah, they told me there are 10, sir. Bihar mein to ab 10 channel ho gai only for Bihar. And I found out eight of them are run by builders who have serious tax cases against them. And believe ki, yaar, ye channel shuru kar do. it's a way either of blackmailing the government or helping the government. So therefore, the ownership is a, is a huge question. But hum khush hai. Because we believe that the revolution is already here. What is going to be the next stage? The first stage of the revolution is done of the media revolution, particularly in television, where we broke the monopoly of Doordarshan. What's the next stage? The next stage, I believe, has to be to make India a truly knowledge society. That's the real challenge. The real challenge is how are you going to make this great mass of people, all of whom want opportunities, see through the media, how do they increase their knowledge? And do you and I, sometimes when we get and see television news, really increase our knowledge? Possibly not. 